clean it up. The second issue I want to talk about is there is a proper way for prospective businesses to submit applications to the city. I was a former director of the Empowerment Zone for the City of Cleveland. I worked, ran the Empowerment Zone here in East Cleveland. When an interested business comes here from the city, there's an application. And that application, or that binder, should include all the necessary documents. That is not to say we're not here to put anybody at risk, but it should be comprehensive once it's submitted. And once it's submitted, that's it. There's a proper way. It's an improper way. And everybody has to have the same binder information on the business. Right. Okay? Mm -hmm. I ran businesses from 5 million to 20 million in the city of East Cleveland. We know how what's proper submissions for prospective businesses. Anything outside of that runs the risk of a lot of different things. Mm -hmm. so, so those are the only two issues I have. And any way I can be helpful, I'm here. Thank you. Okay, um I'm hoping everything will work out now. Everybody got whoever they wanted out of here now. So it's time to move on and put this and put this stuff in here you now. So we just waiting, I guess everybody just waiting to see what's gonna happen now. So uh, I wish the city well. And I have one more thing I wanted to ask. When is somebody going to do something about Stradmore? Who is that? Oh, Stradmore wow, wow. I drove through there yesterday and today. I don't know why somebody that represents that street is not up here. Because that street is absolutely horrible. It's been like that for years. So now, was um, Will was the council person. Okay. The only one. Well, all right. Everybody, oh, the young weeded the bad seeds out. Apparently. Not yet. So, Not uh, yet. We're going to look forward, okay? And we're going to put these personalities behind us. And everybody, hopefully, will be happy and, and the city will move forward. Thank you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Jeff Goodwin. Uh, I'm a part of Voice for My People, as well as uh, Youth and Unity in Cleveland. I guess you could say I'm a dual resident because my family owns a business in East Cleveland and I live in Cleveland. I've been around uh, through East Cleveland for a couple of years and I've seen uh, some of the devastation and deplorable you know, conditions there. Uh, this is the first time that I've ever came to a council meeting and it's peaceful, it's respect and it's courteous. Okay. The time is now for change. That's what I'm trying to let you know from my perspective. I'm out in those streets. I'm dealing with people every day. Their voice is spoken. They got tired of two individuals. No one is exempt. In those positions that you're in, you represent the people, not you. Let's not lose sight of what it is. People tend to do that in politics. But when you've got thousands to get you in there, and you get in there, and you speak what you want, this is what you're going to see. And that recall going to hit you. No one is exempt. No one, even the president, can be removed. We need to make changes now. You need to come together as one and start now and do change. You have the power now to do change. As a council, you're the strongest thing here. Now, get together. My network. I help these people every day. Now it's y'all's turn. Do something. Thank you. Amen. I'm here and I don't see the mayor. I don't see the council president. They only, we recall them, they still to serve up until which time the petitions are certified and saying that they have been removed. So, yes, the citizen has spoken and I'm glad to see the number out tonight. And I hope that you your government and um, I hope that the ones are remaining that you will take heed 
as to yeah. the citizen has spoken. They have exercised their constitutional rights. And that's the way uh, democratic procedure has to operate up. Government or any other entity works that way. The people speaks. They have the first say and they have the last say. And I hope that you will be cognizant of that and be mindful that you serve at the behest of the people, not yourselves or anyone else. And whomever you choose when you have your reorganizational meeting mm -hmm. as the president of the council and, and, and uh, the vice president or whatever, I hope that you do it in the spirit of uh, of uh, cohesiveness and also whom you put in office that will lead the council and lead the council well. <laughs> and uh, so you have that right and you also have the right to uh, appoint someone from the council uh, to fill this, the succession to the mayor's office. Yeah. And I, I know uh, you have that responsibility to try to give you that responsibility. And those of you that's not cognizant of it, 100 deals with the reorganizational meeting, as well as 58 uh, in the charter dealing with the recall or whatever the case may be. And that has taken place. And, and it shows you about the certification, and which time the mayor should be here and the council president should be here. Presiding over the meeting until which time they get to let's get the a notice from the board of election that there has been a recall and that and uh, he then at that time he bows out with this office and so same goes with the mayor so uh, then 114 I believe if my memory serves me correctly deals with the succession to the mayor's office and. I would say while I'm standing here, mm -hmm. I think it. All of these people spoke Th before me at that time. Thank you. Thank you. Please thank you. I've got my time over. Good evening, Council. My name is Latisha Boss. I'm 145, 17 Strathmore. There's in our ward. There's been dumping. They're coming from all over dumping. The tires all up and down our street. There's houses over there can be saved. It's not boarded up. People going over there every day going and in. stealing parts out of these houses. Mm -hmm. These houses need to be boarded up because boarded up because of their uh, revenue for the city. They could be revitalized and right. put back on the tax bracket. Mm -hmm. Don't let these people come over there and tear those houses down mm -hmm. and they can't be like revitalized. Mm -hmm. They're actually dumping mm -hmm. tires. Mm -hmm. When they cut tear down those houses that they put those sticks up. They're throwing tires over those sticks. Yep. So I don't know who owns that property. Do the, do the, the land bank own those properties? They should be responsible to keep those properties up. Okay, now I know on my on Strathmore, they didn't cut the grass over there. But when those, wherever those sticks is at, the grass is five feet high. We can't have that no more.